Welcome back, everybody. This is Dave, and let's play some more Bloodborne. In our last episode, we kicked the ass of Amygdala, or Amygdala, as one of its worshippers called it. Uh, this guy, right here, in fact. Yeah, and we're still kicking around here, because I'm trying to figure out if there's a way to get up to him where he is. There doesn't seem to be. Uh, all I've found so far is this place, which, yeah, doesn't look like the most inviting place in the world. But we've only got five grand, and we've got our poison resist rune back on, so fuck it, right? Only live once. I'll live forever. in here. Oh, we're gonna get rushed down by one of these fuckers. Uh, now that we're poisoned, we can't get poisoned again, so that's something, right? Stamina. What the hell is that? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay. And we're back. And, yep, guess it's time to come clean. I finally broke down. And, uh, because I was, personally, I was sick of dying to frenzy, uh, to frenzy, rather, several episodes ago. Uh, so I finally broke down and looked up what the fuck Frenzy is, and how exactly one is supposed to combat it. Turns out, that's what the sedative is for. That's what they mean by calms the nerves. Oh, remember when we were staring at this, you know, like ages and ages ago? Or maybe that was just me. I may have edited that out. But those who delve into the arcane fall all too easily to madness. Oh, uh, yes. And thick human blood serves to calm the frayed nerves of these inquisitive minds. Naturally, this often leads to a reliance on blood ministration. So, yeah, with that in mind, see what this does for us. Whoa, that almost worked. Almost worked. Not quite. Okay, there's a... Echoes. Wow! Look at it. Oh, it's ugly. Quick silver bullets from that. Okay, fine. Huh. Then again, almost everything in this game has too many eyes. Messenger's gift. Ugh, check that out when I'm out of, outside of the poison. Messenger's gift. If there is a way out of the poison from here. God damn it.
Thanks. Guess. Nothing. Nothing that way. Okay, fine. <sighs> Nothing to it. Gotta run for it. Actually, no. We don't gotta run for it. We just have to do... Oh, hell, where is it? This. Yes. Get me out of here. Woo! Oh, great. That does not cure your status effects, everybody. We, we figured that out. Okay, messenger gift. Enveloping black mist changes user into messenger? Special gift from the messengers, inhabitants of the dream, who revere the brave hunters. Used to envelop oneself in a black nightmarish mist, then transform into a messenger. The illusion is a parlor trick, and any large movement will break the spell. To preserve the guise, proceed very slowly. It uses one bullet, needs ten arcane, unlimited use. Yeah, and you notice we, yes, I have been buffing arcane because of these two, right, that require 50. Yeah, and, and you see, I can speed up, so I can speed up rolling and quick steps for four bullets, or repel nearby foes and objects for two, or I can turn myself into, um, what? A messenger? How does that even work, though? Let's just, fuck it, let's find out. <laughs> and as long as we move at walking pace. Oh, now that's just evil. That is just fucking evil. Yes, with any sudden movement and boom. Oh, but that is just. Oh! Oh! See, in Dark Souls, there is a spell that will let you do that. A, mag a straight-up magic spell that will let you do that. Though you tend to camouflage yourself as whatever physics object happens to be closest to you. Um, not even a physics object. Sometimes just innocuous things. Barrels, trees, um, you know, grass. Little monuments, level geometry, right? It's anything. But with this... With this shit, you actually become a note on the floor. Something every player would naturally be drawn to. And as long as you don't roll or try to quick step or do anything interesting, yeah, you can just, wow, you can just sneak right up on motherfuckers. God, that is evil! That is just evil. It's giving me evil thoughts, you guys. It's giving me, like, really evil thoughts. I don't know, guys. You want to make this invasion episode? Do we even... Can we even? Did we even buy the red bell? Yes, we did. Okay, Let's see what that does, if anything. Searching for the chime of a sinister bell, and as you remember as soon as we poured it in here, that woman was ringing one. So presumably, she'll just pop me into the game of anyone who's made it this far, and yet hasn't killed her. I mean, there's somebody right over there. Oh, man. And I don't want to go too far into things. Ooh, wait. Never mind. We're good. Here we go. First invasion, y'all. Timo. 
Hey, Timo. Where are you? Oh, he hasn't killed that guy yet. Yeah, let's be a real dick about things. Did he see that? <laughs> this is pretty evil. What was that? Oh, look at the poor bastard. I feel bad about... Oh, he's summoning someone. That does it. Time to give him a fair fight. Ooh! He got me! Oh, he got me! Oh, I suck. Oh, and I can't heal? I can Ooh, got me again. Good for you, Timo. <laughs> he was summoning, and I panicked. Good point, though. Very good point. I really should go in for... Yeah, that. But, oh, I don't enjoy it doing that very much. You know, I don't particularly like it. Uh, I don't particularly like fucking with people. I, I kind of like playing the hero. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna return to the Hunter's Dream and decide what the hell we can do from there. Do we wanna... Do we wanna go back to... Oh god, okay. Do we wanna go back to Bergenworth? Do we wanna go to Kanehurst? Uh, do we want to go back to the lecture hall, see if that hold in reality will still transport us there? Amygdala's dead, though. Maybe we could go to that church to the other side of the cathedral and see if he's still blocking the way. Oh, man, there's just... Oh, there's just so many choices. All right, and here we are again back in Bergenworth. We are going to go kill that hunter that was blocking the steps up here. And really, we just killed Amygdala. So, you know, this chick should be no problem. I think it's a chick. Um, she's got nothing but a yeah, threaded cane and whatever that is in her hand. Wow. I was gonna say, I knew the cane was parryable. Oh, she's just got a ton of health. God. Don't know what that was. It wasn't what I thought it was. Wow. Wow. She is mincing us. Oh, man. Oh, wow. Wow. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Up here. Man, fighting up here sucks. Got you! Wow. I gotta find something to do about that. He brings tentacles to a knife fight. Ah! You saw that. Ah! 
Oh, snap. Damn. Panic shooting. It's okay. We're right over. We're right over here. And oh my god, am I down to that few uh, blood vials? Jesus. Amygdala took more out of us than we I thought. Man, could just take these back to the dream. Buy a shit ton of, of them. Or. My stab beat your stab. Fully charged. Oh. Had no stamina, though. Stop that. It is really annoying. Oh. Oh, hell. Damn it! Okay, tough, real tough. Faster than yours, babe. Ooh, not that time. Got you. Ha! <sighs> <sighs> 
<laughs> For that, we get blue elixir. Jesus. Something about these rewards seems a bit out of step with, you know, the bullshit involved in achieving them, but, ooh, now that we're up here, we can finally explore this. St another student uniform. Uniform of the students of Bergenworth, a bygone institute of learning. Features a thick cape. Healing Church has a naturally borrows from its universe design. Arcane defense like a motherfucker. Yeah, looks kind of nat. Looks kind of ratty. But, at least it's got a cape. Running really low, though. I want... Yeah. Yeah, I want to go Fashion Souls. And, oh, wait. When the red moon hangs low, the line between man and beast is blurred. And when the great ones descend, a womb will be blessed with child. Ew. Wish I didn't have to hit okay to that, because no, not okay. Very, very not okay. Oh, great. The red moon hangs low. The line between man and beast is blurred. Well, don't know about any red moons, but Lunarium Key. to the Lunarium facing the lake on the second floor of Bergenworth College. In his final years, Master Willem was fond of the lookout, and the rocking chair that he kept there for meditation in the end is said he left his secret with the lake. Huh. So, as in he jumped into the lake? left his secrets with the lake, they say. Ooh, hello! Ha Get out of here, Brundlefly. Nobody likes you. I should have read that. That was my fault. Empty phantasm shell. The fuck? That applies arcane power. To the we to weapons. Empty invertebrate shell said to be a familiar of the Great One. The Healing Church has discovered a great variety of invertebrates, or phantasms as they are called. Shells with slime still harbor arcane power and can be rubbed on weapons to imbue them with their strength. Mm, that's great. And wasn't there something else? Yeah. Yeah, slugs. Uh, it's a clear sign of the left behind great ones. So yeah, first we had slugs, and now we have the empty shells of invertebrates, it just says. That can mean a wide variety of things, obviously. Okay. Red moon hangs low. The red moon 
madmen toil surreptitiously to beckon the moon. Because... Yay! Madmen toil surreptitiously to beckon the moon because they want a red moon? They want to meet with... <gasps> Dude, no way. Master Willem? Oh. <laughs> Is effective. Okay. Oh, Christ. What have we walked into here? Um, Master Willem? What? That's it? That's all you got, old man? Oh, wow. He ain't looking too healthy. Look at his Pope hat. And the mask. Shielding his eyes from... Oh no. What do you say, guys? Oh hell. Okay. Uh, yeah. I'd say that's a good cliffhanger to leave it on right there. So, <laughs> uh, in our next episode, we will take the obvious plunge. Um, but in the meantime, thank you all for joining me. As always, oh my god, rate, comment, subscribe. And we will see you next time when we play more Bloodborne. This is going to be great. What could possibly go wrong? Right? Right? Right.